The scrutiny that you're under and the tabloids, it's like, leave us alone, we're happy, leave it be. How do you keep so grounded with all of that stuff constantly magnifying your lives? They don't have to leave us alone, we have nothing to hide. Awesome. <laughs> no, I mean, we deal with it because, I mean, we just, it's kind of like water off our back. I mean, we're so in love. And like Tori said earlier, you know, love conquers all. While Tori and Dean were sharing the love, I found someone who wasn't. It is so much better dating a Canadian over an American. It's so simple. <laughs> They're a lot nicer, and they have nasty ex-wives that write tell-all books. What more could a girl ask for? That ex-wife is Mary Jo Eustace, who was watching the party in the oddest place. I was I was next door at the awards. Yes. The awards are happening next door, 299 Queen Street West. And here we are at, at 260 Queen, Queen Street West, and, and you're here. Why are you not at the party? Why, why, why are we watching the awards at an, in an office? I have been sequestered. I was having a beautiful time at the party. It was a, you guys throw a wonderful party. Thank you. You really do. It is a party of the year. Yeah, it's huge. I, I have to absolutely admit, I was having a wonderful time, and then I was asked to leave the party. And why is that? Because apparently, I, I don't know if I can do it. Yeah, do it. I, 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 do it. Tori uh, said you had, she had a restraining order against you, which is not true. You know, this is your country, your city, you know, your fans. There's no reason why you're sitting here and she's up there. Okay. Like, really? So she said that you have to leave the party. Yeah. There was a request that I leave the party because that there was that her. there was a restraining order against me, which of course is completely untrue. Untrue, no, false. No, completely, ridiculously untrue. And um, you know, we just came here to hang out, which is cool, and let the show go on as it should go on. And now we can return to the party and have a wonderful time. Next, it's back to fun and games as Sean and Nick trade secrets. Coming up on Star Daily, is there going to be any like 98 Degrees songs you'll be singing while you're on the road, perhaps? Perhaps my favorite little ditty that you've ever done, Shut Up, from Solo. I can't deny, I love it. 